Okay. So I recently got a delivery of some circuit boards I designed from JLCPCB. Um, and this one here is an LED chaser. Two-sided. That's one side. You can see all the LEDs there. There's a 9x9 grid, so 81 in total. A couple of potentiometers and switches and then all the components are on, on that side. So what makes this different than normal LED chasers, which you might have seen before, is there's an extra 555 timer on this one. So you can control X and Y axis, which makes it a lot more interesting. These are the LEDs I'm using. They're really interesting. They're 5x5mm five five square LEDs. Pretty cool. So I've already started to add some LEDs. Um, I thought I had to buy, build a jig for this, not buy a jig, but build a jig, but just get those straight. But I found that if I leveled off the board by adding a couple of LEDs to the base here at the bottom and then ten, uh, nine at across the top, I could sit it flat and then just solder um, across quite easily. So I'm going to continue to solder these on and then we'll work on the other side of the board and get these components in. So the trick here is to get the LED legs facing straight up. And then what I do is add a little bit of solder, turn to my soldering iron and just solder one leg on carefully. And I'll just do the next one. So what I can do now is check the work, just make sure that they're straight. Sounds pretty straight to me. And I'll Add some solid to the rest of the legs. Okay, check the work again. Make sure that they're all straight as possible. They're pretty good. And I'll trim those and I'll do it another six times. So I won't bother filming all that and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. The LEDs are now all done. It didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. I got them all pretty straight and you can see that they're not too bad considering I didn't use a jig or anything else. So just the slow method works well. My next step is now to add the components on the back here, the transistors and caps and resistors and ICs and everything else. And then we'll move to the, the front side. Right, the resistors are all on now, pretty straightforward. I think next we'll add in the IC sockets and then we'll start working on those um, transistors. Always check to make sure that they're flat. It's pretty good. That looks pretty flat to me. One down. Three more to go. Phew! That was a lot of soldering. Just about there now. So I've added all the Transistors. Actually, more than I thought there was going to be out there for some reason. I don't know. I just forgot how many there were. And then, yeah. So next, we'll add in some the rest of the caps. We'll just finish off with these ones here. So that's the soldering done. I've added the ICs into the sockets. Add the caps, and we're ready for the big test. Plug in the power. Turn it on. Yes, we've got life. Okay, that's better. So on our switch, 
we've got x and y which has got x going at the moment so that works really well Let's speed that up and then there's also a switch here that you can make it go faster so let's try the x and y here we go yes look at that <laughs> that's awesome See what patterns we can get. So it works. The next thing to do is to build a little case for this. I want it to sort of sit up a bit, kind of like that maybe, just a little bit. So I'm going to build a little case for it, um, and we'll go from there. So here it is. Here's my finished 81 LED chaser in a little case that I put together. If you want to make your own case and front panel, well, I've provided all this information in my instructions page. There's a link in the description in this uh, video. So, yeah, you can probably see the screws here, the mounting screws for the PCB. Uh, not really where I want them to be. My OCD is kicking in a bit with this. Um, I've actually fixed the, LC, uh, the PCB now and the screws will come on either side. There's a charging module at the back there, a USB-C charging module. That actually charges up an old mobile phone battery and then there's a, a booster little booster circuit that um a module sorry that i've used to boost the power up to nine volts let's turn it on and see how it looks it's pretty damn good so i've just got it going on one axis at the moment and we can speed that up to its fastest point and then we can turn it down and then if i hit this button, it actually speeds up even faster, so that's the lowest speed, and I can turn it up and we can get this thing cranking. So what we might do is turn on the X and Y axis, and then we'll turn on fast for this axis as well, and see what patterns we can produce here. Oh, it's really touchy, you got to try and... Oh, Nelly. So the frame rate, as I mentioned earlier, is a bit weird. So you, what you're seeing is a little different to what I'm seeing. I'm seeing whole lines of LEDs going across where you can see there's, there's gaps in them. It's just because of the frame rate, but oh well. You have to build your own to see what it looks like, I guess. But yeah, it's uh, pretty damn cool. We'll turn that off. Let's see what we can get going here. You can see it's going horizontal and vertical. Let's see if we can get it straight up and down. There we go. Let's turn the light off and have a look what it looks like. Yeah, that's cool. And fast on. Let's see if we can get them to stop. Wow, cool, hey. There's a link to my Instructables page which goes through a step-by-step -step guide on how to like put all this together and includes the Gerber files and everything else that you need to build one of these. Um, I've provided everything including the front panel so go for your life. Uh, check it out and thanks for um, watching this video. See you in the next project.